Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Silver Linings Playbook. It stars Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, Jackie Weaver, Jennifer Lawrence, and Chris Tucker. As the movie begins, a man by the name of Pat Solitano Jr., who happens to be the father of Pat Solitano Sr., has been having a very hard life. He's been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, has been fighting with his wife after an incident involving her and a teacher, and he has been sentenced to eight months in a mental institution. After his release from there, he found out that his wife left him and he has a restraining order. So since then, he moves back to his parents in Philadelphia where basically he decided that he wanted to change some goals of his life such as becoming more healthy and very active than he already was and try to change his ways back so he can be able to get his old job back as a teacher and be able to get back with, with Nikki but things didn't seem like it was planned because the other day he met his friend again um, since he was invited um, by his wife who was played by, by Julia Stiles. We also discovered that she actually has a sister who eventually was married uh, three years ago but then but recently passed away. Uh, her name was Tiffany who was played by Jennifer Lawrence. Since then Jennifer Lawrence has been following him you know once he was all around and, and talks about you know about her life and, and of course his life as well unfortunately you know there have been a lot of fights these days and um, and as the film goes Pat wanted uh, Tiffany to write him a letter to Nikki so that way that way he'll be able to um, talk about how he's been going through and, and how he wants to change everything back but in order for him to do that you know, Tiffany decided that he wanted him as a dance partner for an upcoming dance show. The whole film, even as a comedy and a drama, it's basically what the film really is about uh, during the first half of the film was that he had bipolar disorder, which is a very rare disorder that, that actually happens to, to people at certain times of their lives. But it's the kind of disorder that actually affects him, where people get angry and frustrated and has a lot of problems um, going on with, with everything. So that's how that goes. I know the director, of course, is also bipolar. Um, I, know I, I know I don't like to mention it, but, you know, but it's somehow I, I started finding some research on that. Because I actually enjoy some of his work. Um, as a writer and director such as Flirting with Disaster and most recently The Fighter. Very good film. But his latest film of course was actually pretty good. I, I really enjoy it. There were some problems during the middle of the film especially the last half. I, I, I probably didn't like the fact that that once again we get yet another cliche uh, love ending I think that's an unnecessary. I know they throw in this dance show and everything. Also, the fact that they throw in the the football scenes, you know, the you know playoffs and all that, um, in and you know iPods and all this stuff, you know, they put in into the movie. I know it's sort of unnecessary, but always, you know, that's okay. Because in reality, I think this movie was supposed to be about a man who's bipolar and he's having hard times with his life and trying to get back to his old wife again and see how everything goes but then yeah on the other hand I, I thought Bradley Cooper was very good in that role I mean, he did earn an Oscar nomination for that it's too bad he didn't win on this one uh, Robert De Niro was very good too I'm glad he earned it too for for his uh, excellent work but the award of course does go to Jennifer Lawrence because Jennifer Lawrence you know as good as she was in movies like X-Men First Class 
And once again, I still haven't seen The Hunger Games, but I know she's actually very good in it. She's she, Once again, she does pull off yet another stunning performance in her career. A very young actress, very beautiful, very talented too, and I'm just glad to see that she won the Oscar for that role. I'm glad to see that she's, she did a very good job with that role. I know it's kind of kind of strange at first, but it's it's interesting to see her actually play, you know, a difficult role that I don't think no one would actually play. But it's good that he, she did it anyway. Also, Chris Tucker was also very good too. I'm, you know, I haven't seen Chris Tucker in a while since I've last seen him in Rush Hour Free. That was the last film I ever saw him in. So it's good to see him back in, in the movie again. Uh, as as his, as Pat's friend and colleague as well, yeah, you know, I, I wish I could see more of him more often because he's very funny. Um, other than that, though, it's actually a very good film. It's definitely worth watching, even if it is cliche and everything like that. It's okay, but I think it's definitely his best work since Flirting with Disaster, in, in my opinion, because I really enjoy his work these days. Anyway. I give Silver Linings Playbook three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.